Hello, how's it going? Thank you so much for coming out. Uh, really great to see everybody. My name's Colin Rafuse, and I'm a director of engineering at Proposify. Uh, this evening, I want to talk about a topic that is pretty near and dear to my heart, uh, which is career growth, and specifically uh, thinking about the IC or manager tracks um, and, and how they relate to one another. Uh, what I want to talk about is a, a little bit, bit about each track uh, and mainly some misconceptions around those. Uh, and also um, some of the uh, some some ways that we can reflect and think about uh, the choice between the two, and uh, uh, some ways we can think about our current personal context to assess the decision in in terms of choosing IC or manager. Uh, but first, I'd like to set up a little bit about my career journey because I think uh, this is such a personal topic to each of us, and our experiences have built our careers to what they are. So I'd like to. Uh, talk a little bit about my experiences to give some context. Uh, I started uh, my development career in 2008 uh, as a developer with Cisco Systems. I then went on to Lawton's Drugs uh, for seven years as an intermediate web developer. Uh, I then went to Goal Line as a senior developer, keeping roads safe for about a year and a half as a senior dev, and then on to Proposify as a senior dev as well. Uh, I had the opportunity early on at Proposify to try my hand at the management track. Uh, so this was a great opportunity for me to give it a shot and uh, start with one individual contributor. And then I went on from there, uh, started managing multiple teams, and then uh, actually started managing managers who had their own individual contributors. So that's a little bit about me. I've been in the IC world for quite a while, and then in the last four years, I've had a chance to try the management track. Uh, but let's dig into uh, the individual contributor path. And uh, you know, generally speaking, it's going to be a technically focused role, uh, perhaps a little bit more head down and in the code day to day uh, compared to the management track. Uh, of course, different organizations, individual contributors will look uh, in, in different ways. But I wanted to focus on some of the misconceptions uh, around the role that I've observed in my time. Uh, so one is you have to be a manager to be a leader. Uh, that's a big one, and uh, you know, just because you're a manager does not make you a leader. They're very different things, uh, and they uh, impact people in different ways. So that's a big misconception on the IC track. Uh, there is no career growth path to senior level roles. I think that's really changed over the last uh, number of years, as Ian was mentioning earlier. Um, between staff, principal, distinguished engineers. There's lots of ways you can grow your career um, as an individual contributor. And finally, you can't have an impact on others around you. Uh, of course, uh, we're always having an impact on the people around us uh, every day. But uh, I think as an individual contributor, you can have a major positive impact on people's careers by coaching, mentoring, and, and things of that nature. So. Um, I think there's quite a few misconceptions I run into about staying on the IC track. But also on the manager path, there's uh, you know, a couple of misconceptions as well. Uh, so manager, generally going to be more people focused. Um, I would call it head up as opposed to maybe head down. And uh, communicating day in and day out uh, a lot more frequently than perhaps an IC would be. Um, but some misconceptions I've observed, uh, you'll have autonomy and quote-unquote control. Uh, this is not true. Uh, as a manager, we're really setting up the environment for people to be successful, uh, to do their best work. And, uh, you know, so this concept of having control, it's really once you're a manager, you have, you know, perhaps a lack of control in some ways because you're just trying to set this environment up. Um, another misconception is you'll have seemingly unlimited career growth opportunities. Uh, sometimes it feels like that from the IC side, but at the end of the day, you could be limited in the manager uh, track because you may not be able to choose a team or vertical that is interesting to you. There's generally fewer managers uh, to ICs, so that's something to consider as well. Uh, and finally, things will be easier if I'm in charge, quote unquote. Uh, so generally speaking, I think it's sometimes easier to say if I was able to make uh, some of these decisions uh, things would be a lot easier and we'd be off to the races, but of course once you're closer to a job and you're understanding all the constraints, the trade-offs and the li limitations, 
uh, it's very challenging, actually. <laughs> um, so yeah, I, I wanted to break those two uh, roles down a bit and talk about the misconceptions more than what they are, because different organizations, uh, the roles are going to look uh, different either way. But uh, what I want to kind of play with here is uh, considering the switch between IC and the manager path. So if we could play with that a little bit and think, uh, you know, if we're an individual contributor, we're currently um, in the IC role and perhaps we've been doing this for a little while, we have confidence in our abilities, um, we enjoy the, the work, but we also understand the day to day and what to expect every day. Uh, and we can also find and celebrate the wins that we have uh, as we tangibly finish tasks, ship code, um, and see how our customer interacts with the product. Uh, but the important thing to think about if you're considering this switch is that the manager is a completely different role in many, many ways. Um, so essentially, you're thinking about a different set of skills that you will require every single day. Uh, what you do every day is going to look a lot different than when you were an IC. And what success feels like as a manager is drastically different than what it feels like when you're an individual contributor. So if you're considering the switch and, and pondering it, it's really important to think about uh, the fact that they, uh, well, there are interchangeable skills, of course, uh, it is a different job. Uh, so what I would suggest, um, and I wish I knew this a couple of years ago, uh, for my own purposes, but I, I think self-reflection is really important, and if you're considering the switch, it's something you should consider. And I've got a couple of areas here I would consider um, reflecting on. So finding your why and what's next. Uh, so if you're in this IC track today, uh, you're really going to want to reflect on why you do what you do, why you go to work every day, and what keeps you going and motivated. And then you're going to want to compare that over to the management track to try to understand if you're going to get that fulfillment on the management side because it is such a different job. Uh, and finding out what's next for you, so thinking one, three, five years down the road and trying to project out and think about where you'd like to be at that time, what, uh, what career position you'd like to be in and what experiences you'd like to have had is really important um, when considering the switch. So, Finding the why and what's next and then comparing it from IC to manager can really help you break this uh, thought process down. Uh, your ideal day. So the day um, is very different between the two. And so as an IC, my suggestion would be to think about what your ideal day would look like, what activities you'd like to do um, day in and day out. And then you can kind of compare it to the management side to see if you're going to be able to do some of those activities because, uh, of course, you're going to want to be doing some of the things you enjoy so that you can get fulfillment out of the job. But I think uh, on the right-hand side here, there's a couple of items that, as a manager, um, you're going to be doing a lot of. Uh, of course, depending on your organization, your mileage is going to vary, but a lot of communication, uh, written and verbal, uh, to individuals and to groups of people. Uh, you'll be doing more meetings, more than likely. Uh, you'll be thinking about projects and teams and progress and metrics for those. Uh, operationally, you know, how is the team functioning? What is their workflow? What is going right and wrong? And you'll also be thinking about human resources types activities like promotions, salaries, uh, how people are working together, things like that. So consider what your ideal day would be like and, and compare it to what a manager's day would be like and you can get a better sense of you're going to get fulfillment out of that. Uh, as I mentioned earlier, fi you know, finding the wins is really important for all of us because it's what keeps our forward positive momentum going. So when you're an IC, generally uh, speaking, you would have this tangible impact uh, that you're making by shipping code, passing tests, seeing the customer use that on production and give you feedback. Uh, whereas with a manager, it's a little bit more nuanced than that and maybe a little less intuitive than a tangible thing you can almost touch uh, with you and your team. So as a manager, you need to think about getting your wins uh, through other people. Because you're creating that environment for them to be successful, when they win, you are getting a win. But it doesn't really feel like that. <laughs> 
So it's really important to have people around you who can remind you that you're getting the win. It's almost like the win is coming around some corners uh, and is not so obvious to you. So I would suggest uh, thinking about how you like to get recognition in your IC job and how that might translate over to the manager role to make sure you're getting, uh, you know, keeping the positivity up and the energy up day by day. And finally, uh, depth versus breadth of your skill set. So uh, you may recognize this T-shaped uh, skill diagram here where breadth across the top, you have competence in many different activities, and then you may have some depth where you are go really deep on one thing and get, become an expert at that thing. Uh, in management, again, from my experience, generally you're going to be living up on that top of the T uh, and not really going too far into the depth of expertise. So as an IC, you may uh, like to be on the top or you may like to be getting more expertise in one particular thing, but consider when you're in management, you're really going to be uh, getting this wide range of competence in many different activities. And um, yeah, it's going to be just a, a bit different and less uh, specialized. Uh, so we talked a little bit about the misconceptions and um, how you could reflect perhaps a couple different ways if you're considering this choice. But I think it's important as well to consider your context, uh, both your personal context and your professional context uh, when thinking about this switch. So uh, I've got this broken down in a few different ways, but they kind of stack up on one another. Um, the first thing I would think about uh, is uh, the psychologically safe team. So do you feel like today you're on a psychologically safe team? And um, it, does the cultural um, values of the company promote a psychologically safe team? Because you are going to a different job uh, between IC and management, you're going to be trying a lot of different activities. And so you want to be in a position where you can uh, try, fail, um, ask for help, ask for feedback, uh, honest feedback, and uh, essentially experiment. Uh, so basically, you really want to assess if you feel like your organization is psychologically safe, and that may help you set the context of if you want to go after uh, this management job or not. The next step to that is the gift of failure. So this one's definitely from personal experience. <laughs> uh, but you can, yeah, basically, Further to the psychologically safe team, are you in a position where you can uh, try, fail, and learn again and again, and really take the value from that failure and learn a lesson? Because um, this is going to be really important in being in a new role and trying all these new skills. You're going to need to capture the wins from those failures again and again and again. And so consider if you're comfortable and in an environment where you feel like you can actually do that and extract those wins. And finally, uh, the growth mindset, which we're probably all heard of. I don't have a dictionary definition of this, but in my opinion, it's mainly about uh, rapidly trying different activities again and again, uh, failing, falling down, learning from those things, and then trying again. So uh, the growth mindset can be a little bit stressful. Uh, it can be a lot of work. And so I think it's important to understand going in um, if you're in a position to take on that growth mindset at the time, uh, if you want to make that commitment to give it a try. Uh, but knowing it going in, uh, that you're going to be kind of swimming around in this growth mindset and trying a lot of different things, um, you know, day to day and week to week, is super important to go in with your eyes open. Uh, so yeah, uh, basically, uh, after reflecting on a couple of different topics and perhaps building up your own personal context, uh, I would leave you with two main things uh, to think about here between IC and management. Uh, you have options, so just because you were to switch from in individual contributor to management doesn't mean you can't go back to individual contributor. I've seen this at Proposify uh, several times, uh, done successfully, and uh, yeah, it's really important that you, you know, understand the organizational context uh, to talk to your manager and leaders to understand where they stand on this position. But um, the good thing is you can try it out and you can go back if it's not for you. Uh, of course, your mileage will vary depending on how long you've been in management and how technical you've been. 
but it's really important to know that uh, you do have options on this if you do want to give the management path a try. And finally, uh, I would suggest uh, thinking about you, but in the future. So basically, our future selves um, are built from our experiences. So what we did last month, uh, last week, today, uh, that's what's building us up uh, to who we are. So I would consider, again, looking out and thinking about what experiences maybe you want to have had in the future and where you want your career to be positioned. And uh, think about that versus the management track and some of those activities that are going to give you those experiences. Because, uh, yeah, you're, I think it's very challenging, uh, but I'm personally very glad that I did it and gave it a try, uh, got into that growth mindset, and basically fell down and kept trying and kept learning. Uh, so consider where you want to be in the future, and, uh, yeah, I think it's, it's worth a shot. Uh, but thank you very much. I really uh, appreciate it. Um, I love this topic so much. <laughs> I love talking about it. So if you have any questions at all, please let me know, or we can talk afterwards as well. Um, but otherwise, thank you. <laughs>